There are several commands in DaVinci Resolve for dealing with nodes, and some of them fall in the category that I call kind of macro commands. The one I want to look at right now is the splitter combiner macro because not only is it kind of nifty to show you, it also reveals some of the power within nodes in DaVinci Resolve. So how do you find the splitter combiner macro? You come up to the nodes menu and select add splitter combiner node. And there's a lot going on here, isn't there? They, they calls it a node, but it's more than a node. It's actually five nodes that have just been added together. And sometimes what I like to do when I do this type of thing is just clean up the node tree so it becomes a little easier to see what precisely is going on. So what we've got is our initial grade that I'd done in a previous movie on expanding out the contrast of this shot. If I press Shift D, that's the original image. Press Shift D again, and this is our color corrected shot. Now, the only node that's actually doing anything right now is node number one. Uh, because you can see it has the icon there and because I haven't really done anything else. All I've done is after node number one, added a splitter and notice the splitter. It has one input and multiple outputs. Then we've got three serial nodes who all get combined back in the combiner and then are now output out of the color page ready for rendering in the deliver page. So what is this splitter combiner doing? Well, what it's doing, without being completely obvious about what it's doing, is it's splitting this image into the red, green, and blue component channels of our image, and then combining them together. One question I often get is, well, can I do, instead of RGB, change it into YUV, or hue saturation luminance? The answer is no. The way this splitter combiner works is it's an RGB splitter, and an RGB combiner. One way of changing the channels, if I wanted this channel, the green channel, to come in as red, we saw how we did that on the mixer. We can also do that here in the node tree by breaking these and then feeding green into red and red into green. And now we've got the same thing as if we were down here in the RGB mixer using one of these quick shortcuts to achieve that same result. Let me undo. And I call this a macro because what it's done is it's taken what would have been a tedious operation. We could create this by hand and turned it into one quick macro, but it's worth doing a quick exploration of how we would do this manually. So let's go ahead and undo that. How would I do this manually? Well, I could right click, add a splitter, drop that into the chain. Then after the splitter with it highlighted, option S, I just added a node. So I'll option S again, except it's added it after the serial node. I'll have to go in, in here, break this, take this output, feed it into this input. And now notice I've got a broken chain because I have no output. I can only have one line feeding into the final output of my color grade. So what I have to do is break this, right click, add node, select the combiner, drop this in here, hook this up. You can see how tedious this can get. So this is why DaVinci Resolve provides us with a method of doing this automatically. I still have one more serial node I have to add, so option S, break that link, hook this up, and it's going to the wrong channel. The way that these combiners work when you have multiple inputs on one of these specialty nodes, I'm going to go ahead, break this node because I need him to go into the red channel. This is the red node now feeding into the red channel. And now I'm going to take this. This is the green node feeding into the green channel. Now I'm going to take this blue output from the splitter, feed it into this node. This is now our blue node. Take the output of the blue node and feed it into the blue node of the combiner. So red output, green output, blue output, red input, green input, blue input. That's the splitter combiner node. Kind of a cool thing if you wanted to, let's say, defocus just a color channel. Maybe you had a third party plugin you wanted to apply just to the red channel or the blue channel to create a very specific look. This is how I would use something like the splitter combiner. Kind of nifty and it's worth showing you because it represents how we go about constructing and deconstructing node trees here in DaVinci Resolve.